I had a dream where I saw a snail. It wasn't special, but in this dream I wasn't just an observer, I was something else. It was strange because I've had this dream before. I had it when Aaron died. I don't like snails, they seem purposeless, void of anything but all they consume. But then, the sun came up with a sort of distorted glow, and I was in a picture frame. I was just an image looking for my ever-present now. The snail got trod on, and then I woke up. Maybe I was a snail all along. Stop being miserable. The hardest truths require the most loving ears and eyes. Don't hate. Stop trying to bury a love's memory. Hold on to the image and let it be. Let it be beautiful. <laughs> when we're afraid if we only see what we want. It's a beautiful place here. I wonder where we truly are. What are you talking about? Shit. With each new step we take, we become something more than we originally were. So the snail? A part of nature and its cycle. Am I asleep? No, you are wide awake in a world of dreams. A world where everything comes to leave. So, like a waiting room is... Are they angry with me? Or just disappointed in what I've become? To grow, we must all become what we least desire. Only once we do can we depart what was never of importance. But the truest question of all is... Can you accept where you went wrong, in mind, and then, in action, become better? In mind, and then action. I think I see it now. The beauty of everything I'm ever becoming, because I need to suffer to accept that in it there is also beauty. In the snail isn't just grass, but it's heart, and in me, is me. Keep it. I think she will like it. No, I think I'll keep it close to me from now on. Then be true. I suppose you'll find me ready for acceptance. I wish I had done this when you were here, but at least now I can face you with a deep, with honest thoughts and a clearer mind. It's so hard to be yourself. Tiredness in itself is a drug. For the child who knows the opium of choice shall never be sedated again.